Alright guys, we're just going on Divine here, and today I am bringing you a Battlefield 4, uh, kind of like a DLC review. Um, I actually just got the second, uh, shit, the second Assault, uh, DLC last night, uh, for Battlefield 4, and second Assault, it, it brought back, I think, four Battlefield 3 maps, uh, two Battlefield 4, it brought back, um, Operation Firestorm, Operation Metro, Gulf of Omen, and Caspian Border. So, this DLC that I'm playing on right now is the second assault, playing on Operation Firestorm. And truthfully, this is not one of my favorite maps of the DLC, but I mean, it definitely was a good map in Battlefield 3. But, I mean, this DLC is amazing. It makes me feel like I'm actually back in Battlefield 3, which is what I love. I loved Battlefield 3. So this DLC, it's it's a good DLC. I really like it. Um, I looked through the four DLCs that Battlefield 4 has already, and this is the one that kind of like it spoke to me, just because it said, "Oh, four Battlefield 3 maps." Uh, yes, please. So, <laughs> so I got this one, and truthfully, this is a really really great DLC. Uh, so if you guys are playing Battlefield 4, if you have it. Uh, this is definitely a DLC that I would recommend if you guys enjoyed Battlefield 3. This is the DLC to get. Um, you know, the, the maps, they're basically just remakes. Um, they just brought back the, uh, they just brought back the maps without, I mean, it looks like it's in Battlefield 4. Or they kind of made it look like how it would in Battlefield 4. But, I mean, the DLCs, or the maps play just like how they did in Battlefield 3. So... I mean, there's really not much of a difference, it's just they're back in Battlefield 4 now. Which is great because, I mean, it's always good to have some, uh, you know, some type of map that you loved in a past game put into the present game. So, I mean, this DLC is just absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, definitely a DLC worth getting, uh, for sure. Just because, you know, it's such a good DLC, it's... It's bringing back a lot of memories for me, which is what I love. So, this is definitely probably the best DLC that I'm going to get. I mean, definitely not in, like, my gaming career. But, like, definitely for Battlefield 4. Just because I had so many good memories on Battlefield 3. Making it to uh, the highest level you can get, I think, Colonel. Um, you know, that, that was a big thing. I've never... I mean, that took a long time just to get. That took a few months just to get to, I think, level, like, 45, because there's a lot of fucking XP that you need to get to a, to a level in that game. But, um, yeah, this game is, this DLC is definitely worth getting. If you guys are playing Battlefield 4 and you're looking for your first DLC, this is definitely the one to get, just because if you played Battlefield 3, you already know these maps. So that's why this DLC is so good for, like, the beginning Battlefield plays, just because, you know, you'll have, I mean, the master is so good in this, in this DLC. I love it. And there's no one up there, I know it. But yeah, this DLC is definitely worth getting if you're looking for a DLC in Battlefield 4. Um, Operation Metro really was not my favorite map in Battlefield 3, so this really isn't a good map for me. Um, I was playing on Caspian Border last night, actually. And I mean, that map, it, it played the exact same as it did in Battlefield 3, which is, which is great. I didn't have any problems on that map whatsoever. So, um, but yeah, this DLC, absolutely amazing. 100% satisfied with this. Uh, definitely worth the $15 that uh, you spend on it. So, I I'm really happy that I did spend the $15 just because looking through the DLCs, I, I didn't really like any of the ones that. Like, when I was reading through the description of it, I didn't like the way they sounded. Or, I was trying to picture them, and I was like, uh, no, they don't look too good. Or, they don't sound too great. So, when I got to this one, I read that, oh, there's going to be Battlefield 3 maps in this. I'm definitely getting this one. And when I read what maps there were, Operation Metro, once I saw that, I was like, yes, this is the DLC I have to get. And then I saw Caspian Border, and that just made it even more convincing to get this one 
Operation Firestorm, when I saw that, I was like, uh, maybe, maybe not. But then once I saw Operation Metro and Caspian Border, that's when I was like, alright, yep, this, this DLC is definitely going to be worth getting. So, obviously, I got it. I'm playing on it right now. And I am just so satisfied with this DLC just because I loved Battlefield 3 with a passion. Um, I mean, I kind of stopped playing Call of Duty to play Battlefield. So, I mean, it's definitely worth getting. It really is. I mean, Battlefield 4 is worth getting just because, you know, the game is just really, really amazing. The graphics are spectacular. And you know, it's just a good game. I mean, if you guys are looking for another kind of shooter game, uh, s somewhat similar to Call of Duty, this is definitely a game to get. Uh, I definitely suggest getting Battlefield. Um, definitely worth the money. Uh, you get a way bigger selection of guns. And, um, you know, some of the DLC is even somewhat better. Actually, I mean, in, you know, you get game modes, you get vehicles, you get jets, helicopters, tanks, Humvees. It's just an absolutely amazing game. So, all their DLCs are really great. They really are. Like, I know in Battlefield 3, the last one they came out with, I think it was Endgame. And that was, like, the biggest thing ever for Battlefield. Because it had, like, the biggest map in Battlefield history. And, you know... Their DLCs are always satisfying. Like you're never, you're never like disappointed with it. Like you're always gonna get some satisfactory out of it, which is absolutely amazing. I mean, a lot of the Call of Duty DLCs really aren't that great, and you know that's something that like people look forward to when the game comes out. Is oh, new DLCs coming out. It's great, and then when it comes out, most of the maps really aren't even that good. I mean, it's even the same with the guns. Like, the gun DLCs and Ghosts really aren't that good. But, um, DLCs in Battlefield really never disappoint me. Uh, you know, I think they're always mostly on point. Um, you know, sometimes they're not good. Like, this map, not, not a big fan of. But, I mean, it still looks like how it did in Battlefield 3. So, that's something you want to, like, if they say they're bringing back a map, you want it to kind of like look the same so like you want to have like the same feel for it like you did in the game that it was originally in like when they're, they're bringing back favela back actually today the dlc just came out so they brought back favela today it looks the same that's what that's what we kind of want we kind of want the same feel for the map when unearth came out with the devastation dlc and ghost the remake of dome it really i mean it had the same layout but it didn't look the same which is, it kind of disappointed me, just because I was looking forward to, you know, seeing the original dome from uh, Modern Warfare 3, just because that map was such a big hit, and, you know, I kind of wanted it to look the same, but, I mean, you know, it had the same layout, so, I mean, that kind of helped out, but it didn't look the same. It just had the same layout. I mean, that's okay, but I'd rather have it look the same, you know? But, um... Yeah, this game definitely does not disappoint. Um, the DLCs definitely don't disappoint whatsoever. Um, you know, it's just an absolutely amazing DLC. It's an absolutely amazing game. The graphics are spectacular. Especially on the Xbox One. I mean, Battlefield really does not have bad graphics at all. Whether it's on past-gen consoles, uh, next-gen consoles. It really doesn't matter. Their graphics are really always great. Really, no matter what system you're playing on. Uh, I know Battlefield 3 on the 360 had absolutely amazing graphics. And that was on the 360. A lot of the games on the 360 really didn't have good graphics. Uh, and then once Next Gen came out with the Xbox One, that's when graphics really started picking up again, just because it is Next Gen. And, you know, graphics are going to be on, on top of their shit. And, you know, they, they definitely are. Like, I do not have any disappointments whatsoever with this console, and I've had it about two months now and you know I, I I do not have any bad reviews to say about this console um, and I actually got a pre-owned one so and there's still no problems with it I know when I've bought pre-owned Xboxes they all red ringed uh, when I got pre-owned 360s and I went through at least six Xboxes because they all red ringed and then you know I switched over to PS3 for a while and I, I just didn't like it I mean, the graphics were just absolutely terrible. The games weren't even that good anymore. So, 
But yeah, back to like the whole battlefield thing. It is amazing. Definitely worth getting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, definitely bringing you guys an Invasion DLC uh, game soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like rating down below. Leave a comment. And definitely bringing you a, um, a DLC Invasion video coming soon. Really, really soon. Hopefully tomorrow. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I really do. Uh, it means a lot for you guys watching these videos. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And I will see you guys tomorrow.